is I'm not even gonna front y'all can tell when there's something bothered me so I'm just gonna get right into it so for the year 2017 and I'm up here dropping shit for the year 2017 I promised myself that I was gonna have more days of smiling and being happy and less days of crying and being angry so I kind of made the uh, decision to make the living room my bedroom uh, and just pretty much stay to myself more often if I'm feeling an issue with the other grown up in the house that I just go and I just be in the living room and I just separate myself and maybe just maybe that you know will help I don't know what, what I've been thinking I don't know all I know is nothing and I mean nothing is getting better around here and I am completely going crazy Y'all have heard me say it before, and I don't know how many of y'all, y'all probably wondering what the hell I'm doing to my eyebrows. This is just my way. It may seem crazy. I, my way. It is what it is. <laughs> anyway, y'all have heard me say it time and time again that I'm not one of those women that believes in getting a divorce. You know, that for me just it never felt like something I would ever want to do you know I feel like once you say I do then you did and it's supposed to be for life well y'all as much stuff as I've been going through I can tell you like right now eh, sometimes I have to question myself and how I felt about that because I am, at this point in life, feeling like the relationship I'm in, I'm in it by myself. And I don't know how to wait or be patient or just, I don't even know if I can just keep praying through it and doing my best to just waiting on things to get better I feel like I've already been doing that and I feel like I am at the end of my rope with doing that y'all know I've had tons of issues with my husband's daughter and I would rather say my husband's daughter than to say stepdaughter I don't like saying that um but then again, I also don't like the issues that I'm having with her. So, damn if I do, damn if I don't at this moment. But I'm this video ain't even to be on that. As usual, y'all know when I got stuff on my mind, I come to y'all and I talk to y'all. Because as sad as that may be to the next person, it's so much easier to talk to y'all than it is to talk to him or talk to anybody else about it i mean of course i can talk to my mother but at this point in life like her both her kids are grown and i don't i don't want to stress her out or bother her with my issues you're my mother you raised me i i don't want to bother you with my issues i'm gonna deal with my own stuff so i don't confide in her and talk to her about stuff as much as i want to I know I can, I just, I don't know, I'm trying to deal with stuff on my own. And even right now, I'm trying to tell myself, like, don't cry. Don't cry. You did enough crying in 2016. You're not crying like that right now. I know crying to me don't necessarily is like, oh, you're weak because you're crying. No, that's not what I think. I'm just tired of crying, and I'm tired of my kids seeing me like that. And 
if anything 2017 i want my kids to be like wow like mommy's going through a lot but she's strong so if i gotta suck some stuff up just to even appear that way to them then that's what i'm gonna do so i'm not gonna cry right now i had to stop myself from crying once he dropped her off and he went back to work because it was an argument before he even left for work and i guess it just pisses me off because in my mind i'm like okay you have a problem with the fact that i'm mad at you and if i get so freaking frustrated and i get so mad that i i i'm cursing at you or i'm cursing you out i'm not even gonna sit here and lie i don't like being that way i don't want to be that way but if i feel like i'm talking to you and you're just flat out not listening to me you flat out not caring or paying attention to what i'm saying then yeah i get yeah i get mad i my temper goes off and i'm cursing and whatever and if i'm cursing you out at that moment i'm not feeling bad about it because i'm like if i'm talking to you all sweet and i'm trying to be like mary poppins and i'm trying to tell you how i'm mad i am with a good old spoonful of sugar and that's not helping it's not doing nothing. You're still not getting it. You're still not listening. Of course, the first thing Alexis is going to do, and not saying I'm right, that's not what I'm saying. So before anybody come for me, I know that that is not the best thing for me to do in a relationship with a grown-ass man. Got it. Get it. However, non-communication with your spouse Letting a child do whatever the hell and say whatever the hell they want to. Like, none of that is helping a relationship at all. So, I'm not finna sit here and constantly try to talk to you about anything that's going on in our relationship if I feel like you're not listening. And if for some reason I still keep trying to talk to you and you're ignoring me, I'm going to go off. I'm going to go off. So, you're going to nitpick and say what... Well, on some okay I, I, I at least I don't curse you out at this point if it just even if I could feel like he was listening to anything I was saying and I was getting some feedback at this point if he freaking cursed while he was talking to me and, and whatever that I wouldn't be that pissed off at the moment what pisses me off is talking to you talking to him and he says nothing it's like i'm talking to myself and then not only do i have to feel like i'm talking to myself then i have to peep then i'm sitting back after i'm telling you how i feel and i'm trying to cool off and chill out for a day or two i'm peeping to see if you taking heed to anything i'm saying if i don't see you taking heed to anything i'm saying I may not say nothing else to you, but the moment you do that shit again, then there goes my mouth again. So, you don't want me cursing you out, okay? I'll put that on the list. Now, let me look at your list, because I can pull a paper out. Let me look at your list, and let's talk about the stuff you're doing that I don't like. That's a problem. So, at this point, because I am one of those people, and I'm like, well, once you get married, you're married for life. Like, that's what it is. Because I feel like that. It is making it real hard for me to feel the way I'm feeling. And the way I'm feeling is I just want to be done. I just want to not be stressed at the moment. I want to not feel bad at the moment. And it just makes it so hard. Because I'm caring about him. And I'm caring about his daughter. Just to keep constantly feeling like I'm getting disrespected. And to keep feeling like I'm not appreciated. Like nobody's going to sit. And I done had people on my damn videos. One in particular. Some okay kooka. I don't know what the hell that person name is. I don't really give a shit. But go sit up there and tell me. Oh you done pretty much made a whole rap video. About a 10 year old. Okay first of all. If you're in my shoes. Which is. This heifer, she ain't dealing with no stepkids. So, for you to talk on my situation, bitch, you don't, you're not in my situation. And now I feel myself getting uppity uh, just talking about it. You're not in my situation. Your kids are your kids. You're not fighting to 
get some respect from somebody else's child. That being a step parent is so much different sometimes in a lot of ways than being a parent to your own kid. So you tell me as a grown ass woman, do you want to constantly be disrespected and nothing nothing changes, nothing get better, nothing happens. There's no consequences give, being given to her, which means um, she's going to constantly keep doing that to me. And in the meanwhile, I am doing the job that her parents should be doing, but it's not in her life to do it. So you tell me how I'm not supposed to be pissed because I'm getting disrespected by her. If I done been in your life since you were five and you getting ready to be 11, I done been more steady in, in her life than her own mother. So how, how, how am I wrong to want some respect? How am I wrong for constantly talking to her father about it? How am I wrong for getting on her ass every time she, she's disrespectful like that? Tell me that. I'm not one of those stepmothers. I'm I don't I don't put hands on her. I don't do any of that. I ground her and I talk to her. She don't get any of it. So who am I supposed to talk to other than her father? So that's one thing. But my main issues right now are with a grown ass man. Like I can't talk to you. You have a problem with me being on YouTube, talking to my talking to my YouTube family. You got a problem with that. You have a problem that when I'm just straight up, you're not getting it. I don't care how nice I say it. I can, like I said, I can take the Mary Poppins route, or I can be straight up loud and and in hood with it. You don't get it, no matter what I say. She don't get it. So what am I supposed to do? I have a five year old daughter, and. She's being taught the wrong things just by listening and looking at how another child, another girl is disrespecting her mom. So, yeah, damn right, I'm going to have a problem with it. So, to sit up there and get on my videos, if you're not here, you are only getting what I'm telling you. So, you don't know enough to be popping off at your mouth. You don't know enough. And the person that knows everything that's going on... It's like he's not doing anything about it. So, y'all tell me. Y'all tell me how I'm not supposed to be frustrated. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, at this point, y'all, I can't even tell you. I don't know how I'm going to get through the next. I don't know how I'm going to get through the next day. I'm pretty much taking it hour by hour. Well, excuse me, minute by minute, min yeah, minute by minute, hour by hour. That's pretty much how I'm taking it. I dread when 3 o'clock comes because I'm like, okay, what trouble am I going to get today? I dread when 5 o'clock comes and he's getting off of work because I'm like, okay, what is our day going to be like today? And despite of my cursing or whatever, I'm a very passionate person. So if I'm in your face about something you're doing to me, it's because I care. It's because my feelings are invested into you and I'm feeling some type of way. And if I only get loud like that, if I've been talking to you about this forever and you have done nothing. Or if I, or I'm feeling like you're not doing enough. That's how I get. And I really don't know if this man even knows or understand truly how much I care about him how much I love him I don't I don't think he truly knows because I don't know much about his past but what he tells me like we don't just sit and talk about our past like that to each other I don't feel no need to but the things I do know, I feel like because certain relationships were a certain way for him before, I am automatically being put into the same category as those women. I'm not. I'm not them. I'm not your exes. I'm. I'm not your ex-wife. I'm not your. I'm not either one of your your baby mamas. Like I'm Alexis. I am me, and I have made it a point to prove myself from day one that I'm here for you. I'm here for your daughter. That's simple. So for me to feel like I am getting overlooked, for me to feel like I am getting stepped on and spit on and 
You know, all I want is for my family to be together and be happy. And all I want is a happy, healthy relationship. And for me to want those things and to fight for those things and to feel like right now at this moment, I'm the only one fighting for it. Excuse me, y'all. To feel like I'm the only one fighting for it, it bothers me. It don't just hurt me here. It hurts me here. And if I feel like people that I care about or I'm trying to care about is purposely like, oh, just treat me a certain way, I, I get mad. I get pissed. I react. For every action, there's a reaction. You, you're acting a certain way. I'm reacting a certain way. So don't make me feel bad. Because I already know. I don't want to be the wife that's always cursing her husband out. That bothers me. He has no idea. However, it takes two people in a relationship. Excuse me, excuse me. I so misspoke. When it comes to a marriage, it takes three. It takes God, it takes the husband, and it takes the wife. And I am straight up. He, as much as I know God has my back, as much as I know he has our back, and as much as I know I'm fighting, I'm like, we're missing a person. And that's where I have a problem. I feel like I am missing the person I married. I miss my husband. And even though he is in this house with me, it's like I'm by myself and I don't like it. So something has to change. Something. something has to change. And even if that means I can't even say it because I don't want it to come to that. But I can't keep feeling like this. Y'all know I'm trying to be on a healthier lifestyle. Like I'm I want to do more for my kids. I want to do more for myself. Like, I want to make God proud. I want to do something more than what I'm doing. I don't want to just feel like I'm existing. And I don't want people around me to feel like they're just existing. I want to live. And I want to live happily. And maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I'm not the only one that's ever felt this way. I just want to live happily with my husband. It's just not going that way. Anyway, y'all, I just told myself I want to go cry. And <laughs> because I feel like when I talk to y'all, like I'm talking, genuinely talking to them. Like the sisters I never had. I think that's why sometimes I get emotional or I feel like I can even say the things that I've said on my channel thus far. Because I swear, like, I, I don't have anybody else I can talk to like this. That I feel is like truly listening. Anyway. <laughs> I will catch you ladies in the next video. I'm finna go dry my face. <laughs> Crying was not something I was supposed to be doing today. So I'm finna just go wipe these tears away. No. 2017 is supposed to be a better year. And it's gonna be a better year. With or without. The, the, with or without my marriage... And I don't want it to be without, but if things just go that way, 2017 is going to be a better year. And it's going to be a year of growth. It's going to be a year of change. And regardless of people around me that don't want to change or don't know how to or just, I don't know, just don't care. That doesn't have to reflect on me. And I'm not going to let it. It's not going to reflect on me. And it's not going to affect what kind of mother I am to my kids because I am who they have and I want to be the best example and the best person that I can be for them.
because they deserve it. And I deserve better than what, I, what I'm getting. I deserve better. And ladies, you're going through some stuff. Like, just remember, even if nobody else tells you, then you can hear from me. If you're unhappy, go find a way to be happy. You don't have to sit. Don't sit and wait on nobody to make you happy. Don't sit and wait on anybody to care about you the way you know you deserve. You know you deserve love and respect, then that's what you go get. And if people around you are not giving it to you, then guess what? Love yourself enough to go get those things. Matter of fact, love yourself enough to give yourself that unconditional love and respect. Respect yourself if nobody else do. And uh, it's just... <laughs> It just sucks right now. Anyway, I have to go cheer the hell up. So, <laughs> I'm going to catch you ladies later. Thank y'all for listening. And as always, thank you for watching. And if you're new, please don't let the fact of me being a big ass crybaby right now turn you off to hit that subscribe button because i need you to hit that subscribe button i'm telling you there's so much more to this channel than this foolishness anyway i will catch y'all on the next one